Whoa. Well, g'day everyone and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We are in the beautiful Ningalo Reef up in the northwest of Australia. Um, today is a mixed bag day. I've, I haven't done any fishing here before um, and I thought I'd just pack a bag of plastics, a light spin rod and um, see what we can't find. I know, I know there's bonefish, I know there's um, lots of different spangled emperors and stuff like that and big turtles you can see there but the water is an insanely beautiful color um, i'm going to rig a couple of things up and just see what we can't find it should be a really cool day of exploring all right we're all rigged up i've gone with the an azores 4000 uh, it's got 20 pound um, pulse x9 braid on there 40 pound leader and i've gone with a little ned rig because that's what I had in my head that I was going to use. A little Ned Rig on a one, I think that's a one sixth head. Um, and looking at the reef here, 100% I'm going to get roasted a lot. But should be entertaining. I've seen a few fish already. So I think they're Trevally that I've been seeing. So we'll just see what we can't can't produce it's good it's good to do something different it's good to explore and what a beautiful place to do it because the wind's blowing reasonably hard i'm just going to work work down with the wind i might petrol back up and work back down with it because i think pushing into it won't be ideal but I can see sort of deeper edges and stuff like that um, so I think I'll just scoot around and do a lot of polaroiding but I might just you know put a few casts into that deeper stuff and we'll just see what happens Just as soon as that landed, it got nailed. What is it? It is a emperor. Oof, settle down. Hey, hey. Check him out. Oh. Beautiful little fish. I think it's an emperor. There's going to be lots of stuff that <laughs> I don't know what it is because there is so much variety down here up here I should say can I have my plastic back buddy thank you off he goes it's like chucking that, oh, any of those little pockets and they're just straight onto it. <laughs> another one, another one of the same. Hey. Beautiful fish. <laughs> I 
I bet you if I chucked it in there again, it will just get blasted. There is so much reef here, you really just have to go as hard as you possibly can. Oh, that's got some weight to it. Oh, oh, get out of there. Oh, <laughs> I full launched him out of the water. Oh, it's a bit bigger one. Man, that got me just like straight into the reef. Beautiful fish. Hey, come on. Okay. Off he goes. Well, this is pretty, pretty fun. Somehow, I reckon, I'm gonna be retying my leader a fair bit. This, that reef is super sharp. Now, if you do come here to fish, it's very important to be aware of where all the marine parks are because there's heaps of marine parks. So, the Wreckfish West app, um, it's really good because you can download a map that um, you can use offline because there's not heaps of phone signal. Um, and any of the yellow areas, they allow for line fishing um, and any of the green shaded areas are sanctuary zones so you can't fish in them. Um, so it just, yeah, it's quite easy to understand via the app. I know there's so much reef, but it just, that little hole in there looks like a really good spot to put one in. <laughs> and that's why, oh, get out of there. <laughs> So much fun. You right? You're gonna spike me? Probably. Hey. If you guys. Not sure if I mentioned it before, but I've got the big rod set up with a stick bait on there. If I see a big G cruising the flats, I'll put it out to him quickly. That'd be really cool to see a big GT. What an amazing place, like, it's just incredible. It's pretty cool. I've used Ned Rigs uh, right at the bottom of Australia in Tassie for caught big brim on them. Um, I used them up the tip of the Cape last year catching um, blue bastards on them. Uh, and I've caught big carp um, at home, like in SA, and now in um, Northwest WA catching fish on Ned Rigs as well. It's a very versatile lure. They've been really, really amazing. A weird looking something. <laughs> it's like an evil whiting. Okay, super soft. Well, I've never caught one of those before. Whatever it is, it's like, if that was at home, I would call that like a weedy whiting or something, but cool looking fish. If you guys, never actually known a place to have such good polaroiding conditions every day like i haven't seen a cloud since i've been here it's just incredible just gonna try turbo craw on a slightly heavier head seen some big emperors 
just an amazing, amazing flat. Got him, got him. What is that? Oh, that was super cool. Just watched, it was like a trigger fish, I reckon. I could see the other shadow oh, of another fish there and just come over. And that is a nice size emperor. Beautiful, beautiful. What a spectacular place, like really. Amazing, beautiful Emperor, stoked with that. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. Beautiful Ningalo Reef Emperor on that turbo crawl. Super cool to see it just nose over and pick it up off the sand. All right, we'll get him back in. Well, nice to make the change. Must be a bit more, it's a bit more of a meal for them, I think. And let's face it, everything, everywhere loves to eat shrimps and crustaceans. It is not often you would hear me say that it's just nice being here, but this is just so beautiful. It is just amazing. Man, did that absolutely nail that. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you cast in the reef, something is just gonna annihilate it. They are just a spectacular fish. Oi, oi, hey, hey. And you can see why they're under things so quickly. Like, check out the size of the eye for the fish. They are beautiful. All right, buddy, I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's got. You just know, as soon as you get anywhere near the edge of that reef, something is going to smack it. place is just alive with fish. It's got that little deep groin on the edge of the reef there and it's stacked with all these little emperors. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they put up a good fight. Come on. Oh. What have we got here? Chinaman, is it? Is it a Chinaman? Another emperor, different colored emperor. Beautiful, I'm guessing that's a red throat by the, the red on his throat there. Very, very pretty fish. They love the plastics. All right, get back in. How fun. It's like, it's like brim fishing back home, except everything's on steroids. And angry. Just gonna try one of these easy shrimps on a snake lock. Because I reckon they look very good. 
I reckon that's going to get eaten by something. <laughs> Straight away. Oh, into the reef. <laughs> Give me my shrimp back. Urgh. Get over on top of him. <laughs> it was like second gas with the shrimp. Straight into the reef. Come out of there, please. It'd be like a cod or something. I don't know, let it go. <laughs> Shrimp's looking a little bit worse for wear. So we're good again. Just look at the, like, you know, if you chuck in there, something is just gonna smash it. Like straight away, there he is. Oh. Oh, let it go. It's the place is just alive, alive with stuff. And I think you know these pockets. They're deeper than they're deeper than you think. Maybe a couple of meters of water there. But the, I think just with the clarity of the water, it looks so like it looks a lot shallower chuck back in there and get nailed again oh, straight away <laughs> so cool so cool another red throat on the shrimp wait wait beautiful cool as very fun way to spend a day easy up oh a better one or just a really feisty one Slightly better one. How clear is the water? So clear. And I'm gonna say that I think the shrimp is actually the pick of the bunch. Beautiful fish. Hey, hey, I'll, I'll let you go. The size for the red throat ones is 41 centimeters, I think. And apparently they're very good eating. So if I get one that's big enough, definitely gonna keep it for dinner. Oh, there was something cruising there. Another emperor. There was some like really nice bigger bluefish there. The emperor beat him to it. Oh. I don't know if that's the big one. I don't think so. No. Oh, I saw a really good one there. But this guy got to it quicker, but another new species for the reef. Check out the yellow colours on that thing. <laughs> that is awesome. Beautiful black spot. And he's got. Seen a couple of really good sized fish through here. It's just hard to get past the little ones. Turtle swimming past. Oh. I did just see a GT like cruise past at full noise. I'm very surprised how fast everything's like all the bigger fish are moving on the flat. It's incredible.
How beautiful. So good. on the top of the reef. That's a beautiful coloured one. Oi. Be nice. Be nice. We can be friends. Yes. Beautiful fish. I just can't get over the size of their eyes. So big. Okay. I'm going to let you go. That was big. Whatever that was, that was a big flash and it just instantly bricked me, which is not surprising. What would be surprising is if I was able to get this out of there. Come on. Uh. Nah. <laughs> I figured that. I figured as soon as I hooked something good on top of this. Ah, oh, no, nah, he's so far in the reef. No, that was a good one. I saw a big flash. <laughs> right in the gnarly stuff. Like there was just so little hope trying to get it out of there. No, nah, unless I dive in there, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> it's just like that one sand pocket and just chucked in there and just saw the whoosh, big flash and gone. Like a few nice bommies and stuff through here. Say so it'd be a good spot for a GT somewhere. Let's get one to come out and blitz it. Big Emperor. That was a big Emperor. It's the biggest one that I've seen. Tells me that I should be putting that other stick bait back on. I reckon.
Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Snap me off. <sighs> oh, that was big. Oh! Well, that is it for the day. Very fun day exploring some new water some really good fish on the Ned rigs and those easy shrimps and then had a bit of a stick baiting session at the end there. And I tell you what, after a long cold cod season, it's very nice just to be able to come out, enjoy this beaut, like the area is just absolutely stunning and just catch so many fish. Like there has not been um, any point today where I haven't been catching fish. So very fun day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it, leave us a comment, and um, if you subscribe to the channel, you won't miss any of the episodes. Bit of a run back to the ramp. I will catch you all next time.